Hello there. Welcome back to the Oracle Survival. Let's play. Hope only you are doing excellent. Today, yes, I kind of expanded the little area which the cow assigns in. It's quite dandy. But look who we have over here. Look at him. Taking a little splish splash in the pond over there. And he knows he's smart enough not to come out here. Yeah. What do you think you're doing, bro? If you guys recall, in one of the earlier parts, there's one of these guys down in there too. So he thinks he's really uh, cool. Just swagging out over there. How many arrows I got? I got enough to waste on you. Get out of here. What do you think you're doing? Give me your XP. Take it off. But uh, yeah, it's kind of crazy to see a mob down in here every now and then. I think one time we did see a creeper, which was on the occasion when it was not good at all. It was not good to see a creeper um, down in there because creepers explode and they're just very bad. And it's just something you don't want to do. Now, my original um, goal was to get this cow uh, saved before I started the pod. But look, I... I need to save all the cows around, and they, they don't make it easy on me. They really don't. They're like, oh, gee, you're gonna, we're going to make this very difficult on you. Um, so it is what it is. Um, so I think this one will be pretty easy to save, though. So, Yo, this way, buddy. Thank you. This way. Come on down. Yes, that's perfect. Perfect. Thank you. Come on. Yes. Now, I do believe since we have this guy now, we have, a, we have an infinite supply of leather. Hey. Look, this, yo, he's like, what? I'm so confused. What did I do? No, look, this is, look, brah, 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 come on, brah, 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 this way. He's, he just doesn't care. He's like, oh, wouldn't you? I'm not falling for it. Yes, you are. Come on. All right, so yeah, we'll have an infinite supply of leather. Um, I think maybe he heard me. He's like, what? You're going to use me for leather, huh? I'm like, no, of course not, buddy. Uh, but yeah, so we'll be able to get our books. Uh, made now we'll be able to get that enchantment room settled and just done and it's gonna be awesome pretty happy about it uh, I went ahead and expanded the uh, put the infinite water source in there so they have a little bit of, of a drink they can have a nice beverage every now and then you know what I'm saying come on yes thank you yes there you go you two can live happy and whatnot and just happy and you know just it's just, just gonna be a brilliant time so yeah that didn't take long as I thought it was plus there so there's actually a random pig just stomping along through the forest. That's it's a very rare sight to see. But uh, in the last one, we did have some uh, glass in here. Oh, okay. So it's not fully smelted, but there is some of it. So we'll just go ahead and take what little bit we can get. And uh, go ahead and try to add that onto the tower um, section. And I love how that naked sheep is still here. Like, I don't know what its purpose is, but it's there. And it's just naked every flipping part but um all right so let's go ahead and fill this in boom get all this little um additions added then i could start on the roof eventually don't know when i'm gonna exactly do that but it should be swag whenever i do um this is gonna be a lot of swag you know what I'm okay so <laughs> let me go ahead and boom so i think this part started out great we got the cows settled we have that whole issue dealt with don't have to worry about that no more so i'm very happy about that because that was something we really needed to get done a long time ago we are actually quite high up aren't we be ashamed if i just fell um it really would actually that well while, while i was building this um i was worried like oh no if i actually fall or something it's gonna be so bad and i still ain't even done why did i just dig that and place it right back that made no sense whatsoever sometimes oh when she's launch it gets a little bit I don't, I don't even know. Um, so, yeah, um, we still got to add the roof to this place, and I don't need to be wasting glass like that. I hate wasting glass. Glass is very valuable. Actually, it just takes time to smelt, and it kind of gets on my nerves that it has to take forever. It's like, why you do this to me? But, um, you know, it's one of those things, I suppose. Boom. Oh, come on. There we go. Nice. Now, I'll go up one more, and that's the last one we have to do right here. Sweet. This is a success, folks. Boom. I like it. Now, I just gotta get to that other side somehow. I don't know how I'm gonna do it. Let me get rid of all this. This is this is construction right here. Uh, this is how it goes. You know, have all your construction stuff set up. And then my shovel breaks, which is just absolutely brilliant. Not really. It's horrible, actually. Um... Jump on this side, fill these three in, and yeah, I'm going to have plenty of leftover glass as well. I always have more than enough glass when I go to smell it or whatever. I hate the fact this is dirt block squished in, all that, but uh, perhaps that will despawn over time or whatever. So, 
Now, the roofing, I'm probably going to make a lot of uh, steps or whatever and uh, kind of brainstorm with that. Uh, make the roofing real nice. And then uh, right here is where the staircase will end or whatever. And you'll come up and then it'll just be like, boom, you'll come up here. Like around here or something. And just be like, oh, look, the wonderful lookout. And then you'll come up here to a nice getaway chair. And you can just sit and overlook the forest of many trees that's it's called the forest of many trees okay that's what we're calling it the forest of many trees it's, it's a good name uh, i will say i'm glad i thought of it but um now as for this there's still a lot of staircases that need to be added over here as well um it's just so much stuff hey no i thought i seen another cow watch watch a bunch of cows just spawn after we had such a difficult time in the past part finding just that one like honestly i the reason these cliffs is bad to have a cliffside home for this one simple fact is mobs spawn and de getting them to de like spawn is impossible because if they're on one block they don't despawn so it kind of makes a lot of things difficult so um i need to add simple improvements like the flooring on this i do believe and here now we got to figure out how we're going to get the staircase figured out for this um hmm I'm going to think how I want to do this. I I don't have a lot of room, so I need lots of room, you know. Um, hmm. Could put it into the mountain. That'll make it a lot easier on myself. Uh, think, 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 think. Um, let me go make some staircases so I can experiment with some ideals real quick. Uh, of course, we're just going to make it a cobblestone because I have so much cobblestone and I don't have to waste wood doing that. So, I already have some stairs, I think. I don't know. Okay. Uh, hmm. Could be like, boom. Might be able to do something along the lines of what I've got in mind. Well, not that. That's, that's not going to work. Boom. 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 No, that ain't gonna work. What are you doing? Um, okay. Then from here. I don't know how this is gonna work. Alright, well, there's a lot of brainstorming that's gonna have to go into this. Let's see here. Come up on that. Then. Will that work? What the heck? I heard a door open. That better have been a sheep. I don't know what that was. That's scary. I got my sword out. What opened some doors? I don't like this. Oh, okay, it was a sheep. I swear that sheep is being creepy here lately. Like. That sheep is being really creepy to the extent... I don't know what I'm going to do with that little guy. Like, he scared me in the last part, I do believe. And he's just creeping around now. He he was cool at first, but now he's became an issue. Um, <laughs> he's really... He's like the Slenderman of our world. He's And he lives right there with us. And he wants us to sleep every night. If that's not creepy, then I don't know what is. Okay, so... Um, honestly, this will be filled up for the most part. And then... Clear out this for the time beings. Go right here. Um, will I will I be able to do that? Yeah, actually, I should be able to do that. I don't know how that's gonna look, but maybe if I had. Hmm. I do got an extra glass. I don't know. This could look cool if I do it right. I'm um, going we'll to have to add a lot of wood just to make it look nice. But come up. You're just like... Yeah, I like this. I think it's going to look good. So let's do a little speed up and try to finish this and see how it uh, looks when we get it all it completed. Yeah, so let's start.
Okay, we're back, and overall, this is gonna be quite interesting. I don't know how exactly I'm gonna add a lot of improvement. This is the concept, the rough draft. Of course, we're gonna go back and make it look a lot more fancier and nice as, um, you know... Uh, I wanted to put kind of like a guardrail on each level that it goes up, but doing so, it's going to be kind of a little bit complicated, I think. Uh, I'm going to brainstorm it out a little bit, see what I can do to add adjustments and improve it. And uh, for the most part, I think that's going to be the staircase up from here. I was going to put a lot of a staircase like right here, actually, but I think it's going to be better building it into the wall like that. So uh, it doesn't get in the way with our awesome window design we got going on here. And uh, I think uh, we need to definitely add something that really um, inside this place to really... Um, you know, make it meaningful and uh, kind of extend it apart, but I don't know what yet. We could add a bunch of paintings going all the way up. I don't think that's really going to match it or really look well for it. But for the most part, I really like how everything's turning out. I think it's looking good. We're going to get a nice ground view of it so far. And, um, yeah, this Cliffside Homes has been awesome so far. I think in the next part, um, we may actually go find the end portal. Try to figure that out where it is, where it is and settle that for once and for all and then just start um well every like actually starting now all video i'm going to start trying to collect a lot has he added the pen and how in the world if so did he do that yo yo what are you what i don't understand okay no he's a glitch i hate that glitch it confuses me but um yeah, so what was I saying? I don't lost my train of thought. I don't know. But, um, yeah, we're going to go find the end portal, and I'm going to collect ender pearls periodically. And uh, hopefully, you know, we'll have enough ender pearls by the time it comes around, and we'll have enough gear and be suited up for that, and enchanted armor and all that good stuff. We So we won't have to worry about much of the, you know, the scariness which the end dragon will throw at us, which I don't think is going to be much of a problem. And there's still construction dirt there. I got to take that down. It's going to bug me, man. Why is it even down? I don't know, but I'm going to go deal with that. And uh, then I I do believe we will sum this part up so uh yeah we we had an adjustments here and there and we finally getting stuff accomplished which is good um a lot of things we keep on delaying because what i think happens you know um I start venturing forth doing other things and then we get distracted in the mines for quite some time and uh what i like about this world though if you guys uh, realize from part one we never had an actual um man made mine so to say uh, no strip mines, no nothing. It's all legit. Um, f going through caves, finding diamonds here and there. And uh, it's all been, all the diamonds we have, which is a total of 15, have been found totally legit without digging any strip mines or anything like that. We just found them in caves. Um, I think that's excellent. We have our diamond pickaxe, our diamond sword, our enchanted bow. And, of course, we're going to go back to the village and get a lot of arrows with the emeralds we have and just spend all of our emeralds on arrows and then just... Go crazy, and we actually already have the enchantment table. Should we go ahead and place this before the end of the point? I do believe we should. So, uh, yeah, it's not going to do us much good right now, of course. But for now, we could put that down right there, which is going to be the place of it. And, uh, yeah, it's going to be pretty cool. Awesome. We can only get level 5 enchantments right now, so not awesome. But, uh, yeah, we'll put a bunch of books in here over due time. And hopefully, I'll accumulate a lot of leather and get that dealt with soon. Uh, but I think it's awesome. And like I said, hopefully... Real soon, we're going to go find the end portal, so we're going to have to gear up and get ready for that journey. And then, after we find it, it won't be long, and we will be killing the end dragon. If we don't die for whatever the reason be, and if we actually get to the end dragon, we kill him successfully, the hardcore survival was a success, and we beat hardcore mode. Uh, it's going to be nice. I'm quite happy with it. But, um, yeah, of course, this hardcore series is kind of unofficial um, in terms of this isn't an actual hardcore mode in the actual Minecraft because it has not been it has not been added to the PS3 edition yet, but uh, it's still we're given all the same rules at hardcore mode. Like if I die, then boom, it's over. I can't play no more, which is um, kind of what this whole series is based around. Uh, a lot of people were leaving in comments in previous parts like, "Yo, OMG, why is it taking you so long to beat this? Or why is this Let's Play so different than your original Let's Play?" And uh, simply for that reason, it's hardcore. So I want to be able to do as much as I can and complete much as I can in hardcore. And uh, kind of live that challenging, edgy life in Minecraft. So, yeah, with that being said, though, thanks for all the solid support you guys leave on these videos. I really appreciate it. Each and every individual out there is awesome. And I will see all you amazing people later. Head up. Everybody watches the vids. Everybody loves the Minecraft clips. When it comes to the best channel, everybody knows what.
what it is. <laughs> this channel is the hottest. Don't agree, then follow the disclaimer. Or just join the bandwagon now and subscribe to Only One Gamer. Cause Only One Gamer. Only one gamer, uh, 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 u